What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Skyrim video. So in the last video we met this, well we technically met Delphine uh, a while ago. Uh, she was the one who told what, uh, Farngar, the court wizard for Whiterun, uh, how to get the burial stone uh, over at Bleak Falls Barrow. And during this whole endeavor we actually got ourselves into a bigger situation, discovered we're Dragonborn and everything. And now we re-met Delphine in her, I guess her true self, although she hasn't told us all of her information. But she did give us the horn of uh, Jurgen Windcaller. So first things first, I kind of want to go over to um, to the, uh, what are they called? To the Greybeards and give them the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. And then after that, go and help Delphine with this whole dragon situation. So with that being said... Let's just go over there and fast travel. All right, looks like we are here in this freaking super cool castle of ours. I wonder if the supplies are still in here. They are. You guys are supposed to eat it, damn it. Let me in. All righty. Uh, where are you at? There you are. What's up, bro? Ah. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Winko. Duh. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. That wasn't very difficult. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Yes, sir. And how exactly are we doing that? All right. Looks like we're, uh... Final word of unrelenting force. Oh, yeah. Da, which means push. Da. Fus ro da. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it. Let's go ahead and. If I don't already have it on, let's put this on. Hurry up, Wolfgar. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already am. Can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeard. What the hell's going on here? Um. Ouch. This looks painful. Oh, snap. Pretty sure he says something about LeBron. Dovahkiin, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Yay! Uh, is there anything else we're doing here? Honestly, I don't think so. Let's go ahead and run out. Wait, right, let's talk to let's talk to Angier real quick. Get out of my way. Uh, no, that's Bori. Where'd he go? Angier. Wind, got you. So, what was that ceremony about? You were shouting at me. We spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our magic. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar. Before he became the Emperor Tiber Septim. Wait, am I gonna become Emperor? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, what did you actually say? Ah, I sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue as we are. This is a rough translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit upon. By our breath, we bestow it now to you 
in the name of Kaim, in the name of Shore, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, the dragon of the north. Hearken to it. Yes, sir. Uh, so why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Uh, so I'd like to learn more about the voice. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. How you figure? But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thune resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. Uh, have you located any words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Hell yeah. Uh, find the word of power in sheer point. Don't mind if I do. So tell me more about the Greybeards. I wish to know more of your order. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkorn. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Uh, why don't the others talk? Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. Ah, that's why. Okay. Uh, what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Uh, but I don't follow your philosophy. Uh, ah! But I don't follow your philosophy. Uh, why help me learn the voice? The dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. That's pretty cool. Uh, is this the same thing I learned? The voice was a gift of the goddess. Yes. Although this gift, true master in the contemplation of the sky. All right. Kinnereth's domain. Well, it was nice talking to you, Ardnir, or whatever, however you say your name. But it's time for me to part ways for now. Because I have a dragon to destroy. Um, where is it anyways? Okay, it's a little tiny. So I need to fast travel to Windhelm. So first things first, I need to go all the way to the Whiterun stables. So that I can actually take the carriage all the way over there. Because I haven't discovered that place yet. Wait, where is it? Windhelm? Or Winterhold? Uh, Windhelm. Alright, uh, carriage. Need a ride? Yes, I do. I'd like to hire a carriage. To uh, to Windhelm, please, sir. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Sounds good. Thank you. I appreciate it, by the way. Come on, Fangle. Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. They say the big old palace there was built by Yiz Dude, I love that helmet, man. There is a way you can get it, though, but it's only for... I'll show you guys whenever we get to that point. It's gonna be a while, but... It is freaking amazing, dude. Alright, so Windhelm Stables discovered. 
very nice. So let's go ahead and run south. All right, let's go ahead and run. Man, my guy is slow as hell. Come on, Feindle. Where the hell is he at now? Oh my god. I'm telling you to hurry up and you walk. It's not until I saw you that you started running. Feindle, I swear, you're pushing, you're pushing your boundaries here, all right? We're already here. Oh god, there's a dragoon. Let's go destroy that bastard. Kynes Grove discovered. Oh, that little rabbit scared the shit out of me. He's not attacking, though. He's just flying. Wait. Yeah, no, he's not attacking. Um, I was gonna say, where's the road to go higher? Is this a mine shaft? It is. I've actually never explored this place. No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon. It's attacking. Uh, a dragon. A, a dragon is attacking Kangsgrove. Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oh look, who it is? It's time. I'm pretty sure it already saw us. Dude, that looks sick, dude. Um... Ah, oh, there we go. I almost forgot how to sneak us. I'll say, oh, what the hell's going on? Look at that. That looks amazing. Get out of there, wolf. What is he doing? Watching, wait, we need to destroy it. Oh, that's Alduin. Pretty sure he said kill me. Hold on. Alright, Shalakanir. It's time for you to meet the wrath of the dragonborn. Shut the fuck Hear up. <laughs> <laughs> you leave my friends alone, dickhead. What's up? That's all you got? Pretty sure I already took out like like 25% of your health, homeboy. Let's go! Shut up, Shalakanir. You're the wrong side. Alduin will never save you. He will only eat your ass. I mean, what? That's right. What's up? Can can Alduin do any of this? I don't think so. It's to be a Haha. Alright, let's take that. And that and that. Give me your soul.
I couldn't hear what she said, but she said, You really are Dragonborn. What the fuck? What happened to this storm cloak? Amulet of Talos. I'll take that. And that. And that. So it looks like I just need a Windhelm shield, and I got a full set of storm cloak armor. It's true, isn't it? You really are Dragonborn. No shit. You're just now I catching owe you this. I answers, don't I? Duh. Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. Good. Uh, so what are you, and what do you want with me? That is paramount to this conversation. So you better answer wisely. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. Oh, okay. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers. And we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Um. Okay. So that's a, that's a good answer. <laughs> uh, what do you know about the dragons coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Uh, alright. I was getting a drink really quick. So, I've seen that dragon before. The one that got away. That was the guy from, uh, Helgen. Really? Where? It was the one that attacked Helgen. <laughs> I just said that. When Ulfric escaped, uh, from the Imperials. Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. Uh, the Blades. Who are they anyways? Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. I do. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one until now. I loved the blades in um I wanna say it was Oblivion, dude, where you had to like scale that freaking mountain and they had their own little base and everything, dude. The blades in that game were fucking awesome. Uh what's our next move? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Um Remind me, who are the Thalmor? I already know. But still. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Don't worry. Dragonborn is here. <laughs> uh, what makes you think the Thalmor are bringing dragons back? Nothing solid. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? I mean, that's somewhat logical to assume. But it kind of seems like coincidence to me. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. We'll find out later in this game play. So, why are the Thalmor, the Thalmor after you? Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. Dun dun dun. So we need to find out what the Thalmor know about the dragons. Any ideas? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Gasp! The problem is that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. So how do we get into the Thalmor Embassy? Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Yes, ma'am. Eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. 
Uh, I got the key to her place. Ooh, diplomatic immunity. All right, first things first, though. Uh, I want to see something. So, it seems that things are worse than ever. Delphine thought. Dragons aren't just coming back to life. They're uh, being res resurrected by other dragons. Well, one specifically, and that's Alduin. Uh, Delphine suspects that the Thalmor might be bringing dragons back for some sinister purpose. Uh, she's going to talk to her contacts about how she can infiltrate the Thalmor in Embassy. I kind of sort of don't like this mission, to be honest. So... Let's go ahead and see if we can do something else. Uh, find the Word of Power in Shear Point. Join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Gather 10 Bear Pelts. Uh, locate the Face Sculpture in Riften. The Shrine of Azura. You know what? Let's go speak to the Leader of the Companions. First things first, though, let's go see if we can sell some stuff so that we can potentially become a homeowner. Hopefully. Hold on, let me see. How much money do I have? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I think we might be able to buy a house. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we'll stop at nine. All right, let's go. Hey, Beldor. All ears. Can I can I buy something from you here? Uh, need something? So the answer is no. What the fuck? Oh, that's the cultist. I thought that was the girl that the shop owner here. Another corpse for the pile. <laughs> Beldor, get your ass to your shop so I can buy stuff from you, or sell stuff to you. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that. Man, steel. Is All right. All I ask is we gotta wait for his freaking ass to get his ass all the way, cause I want to buy this house already. He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. No. I help my father in more ways than people realize. Uh, do you work at the forge all day? Aye, that I do. I've got to if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl. Balgroof the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Oh, what happened? Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl oh. steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Yeah, of course. I didn't even realize that you were his daughter. Thanks. True story. I didn't... I really didn't don't forget know this. To check inside the shop if you need it. Oh, no. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm gonna go talk to your father really quick. That's cool. I never knew that before. Shut up. Have you heard? Yeah, no. I already killed it. Don't worry about it, guard. With me here, you guys shouldn't worry. I'll send that dragon back to solve him, guard. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to yo daddy. I'm very curious about this because I've legit never, I never knew that. They were related. I guess we all learn new things all the time, right? Um, right there. Avenici, Avenici, need to talk to you. Shut the hell up. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. Eh, kind of. I have a sword for you from your daughter. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl, so eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins. Your service is rendered. 20? That's it? Man. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. I was over here thinking that uh, what do you need, I had more money. Alright. To Can I sell you stuff? Come to Dragon's okay. Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Um, like the rest of the great... What do you have for sale? Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think I'm not. you appreciate this. Uh, let's see. 
I don't want to sell books. Wait, can I? You know, if you've got the app, disenchant this. You should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Axe of White Run. I definitely don't want to disenchant that. But that, honestly, dude, the steel weapons in this game look fucking awesome, dude. All right, so I do have the Black Mage robes that I want to disenchant. Yeah, I'm gonna sell both of these to be honest: the Black Mage robes and take a look. the uh, the other ones. All right, so let's go down. We'll sell this value 50. Don't mind if I do. Keeping those. Um, selling this. 18, this is worth less than the Black Mage robes? It's weird. I'll keep those only because I don't know if I can ever get those again. I'll sell these. All of that. Silver amethyst ring, garnet rings. Oh my god, dude, I'm so close. Do I do I know this? Let's see. Books. Spell tome. I already know. It. All right, I'm selling it then. There's a trink. Take a look. Let's go all the way down to the bottom and sell this. Dude, I only need less than 200 mm -hmm. gold, and then I'm able to uh, to buy a house. So let's go d talk to Bellathor, and hopefully we can the waiting. get the last couple so of uh, 200 uh, gold so we can purchase this house for once. Or finally, I should say. Any minute now. It's a shame, isn't it? What is? Uh, I heard something happened to the tree at the temple. The Gilder Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. But not many of them around anymore. So, what's so special about this tree? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim. Maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Uh, is there any way to retreat to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Uh, what kind of weapon would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Oh, cool. Can you spare a coin? Uh, not right now, sweetie. I got a better surprise for you if I'm able to buy this house. But first, I need to talk to good old Bellator. Got something for just about everybody in here. Yes, I know. You say the Give same shit every me, single day. Everything. Take a look. All right, let's see. Uh, well, he's got 753 caps, so or uh, gold. So, ooh, yes. Oh my God, yes. I think I'm gonna be able to. Um, maybe. Conjurer's potion. Oh my God, dude. 100 gold. That's all I need. Draught of health. Health is increased by. If, no, I'm gonna need that. Uh, I'll definitely sell these. Sell this. Sell all of these. Dude, I'm already 5,000. I'm good. But I'm still gonna go down and sell everything I don't need. Potion of destruction. Potion of extra magicka. Um, I'll sell all of these. How much? He only has 154 gold left. Um. I mean, I, those would probably come in handy. All right, he's got six. Is 
Is there anything else I can sell to him? That. All right, we're good. Let's go talk to good old uh, Avenici. And talk to him about potentially buying a freaking house. Whoop whoop! Finally. I'm so hungry. So am I, sweetheart. But don't worry. All right. Avenici, I know we just spoke. Remember that I How dare you? Rare. Oh, you're so lucky. I was about to fuzro da her ass out. <laughs> All right. Avenici. I serve Jarl Balkra as steward. Yes, I know this. I would like to buy a city in the house. Oh, what the fuck? A city in the house? What the hell am I talking about? I would like to buy a house in the city. Here you go. Splendid. There's a house available right now. No shit. That's why I'm trying to buy it. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. Yay. Now I'm broke as fuck. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? Um... Do I even have enough for any of this? Children's Very bedroom. well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit... Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Ooh. Uh... Bedroom. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Can I even purchase anything else? Uh, uh, let's go with kitchen. I'm sorry, but you, is Damn there it. anything else you'd like to purchase? All right, let's try loft. I'm sorry. All right, is looks like anything I'm, else you'd like to purchase? looks like I'm too broke for this shit. All right, let's go talk to that little girl. <laughs> and handle some business. All right. Hey, check it out. Wait, Lucia, get. Oh my God, guard, get the hell out of my way, Lucia. Just one gold, please. No, yeah, of course. Here you go, sweetheart. Oh, thank you, divines. Bless your kind heart. Why are you begging? It's, it's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since, since Mom. Oh no. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. I mean, I could adopt you if you want. Really? Do you... Do you have a place I could live? As a matter of fact, I do. I have a house here in Whiterun. Oh. Wow. Are you... Are you sure? Of course. You really wouldn't mind? No, not at all. Yes, I'm sure. Daughter, that's such a weird <laughs> thing to say. But yes, I'm sure. Yay! Thanks, Mr. Um, Papa. I promise Proud to be the parent. best daughter ever. Yay! We got a daughter. Let's go visit our house. I want to see our house. It's freaking awesome, dude. What's her name? Uh, should be now. Oh, but there, here she goes. She's going, Long Lydia. She's going to my house. A dragon to attack kinds. Rorikstead's a nice enough little hamlet, but a boring posting for a guard. If Why the hell? Attacks, well, it's everything I could have hoped for. Why is that guard in my freaking house? Again. I, I can't thank you enough. Well, honor to you. My we friend. definitely need more decorations. But here's the kids' room that we purchased. And what else did we buy? Did we buy the master bedroom? Yes, we did. We bought the master bedroom. So now the good thing is we can finally start freaking putting things away. All right. Um, I'll put this away for now. But I'm probably going to put it up as a decoration at a later time. 
All right. What else do we got here? I don't know what this is for. To be honest, but it looks cool. I'll keep it for now. Um. Doesn't look... Well, you know what? I should probably put books away, huh? Okay, I'll put these away before I end up selling them on accident. Um, all of that I'm gonna sell. I'll put the Storm Club Curious. That away. The Vampire Robes. See, these look freaking cool. I really don't know... What they're for. Is this a consumable? I don't know. But it looks cool. White run guard armor, abso freaking lootly. So my carry weight is now 46 out of 315, dude. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Lydia, how's your room? Your room kinda sucks. Honored to see you again. Yes, I know you're honored. And you should be, because I'm like the greatest thing that ever happened to you. Just kidding! Well, at least we have a house. So there's that. Alright, uh, also... Actually, I got an idea. Let's go get married. Fuck it. I'm, I'm over here doing a bunch of things and I still haven't even... Started the, uh, companions. I'll probably, I'll probably save that for the next video, but for now... I'm kind of interested in game. Do I even have money to travel? I got nine gold. I can't fucking fast tra fast travel. Oh, wait, have I been? To ri I think I have been a rifted. We did. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go to rifted really fast. I don't have to take the carriage. Whoop whoop. Vi mighty 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 convenient. But there's also another problem. I don't have gold to uh, to get an amulet of Mara. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. All right, look, first of all, what's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? No, this is obviously a shakedown. All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. That's what I thought. You don't want me freaking putting my arrow in your knee. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. When I'm ready? You better watch your tone. Some of these guards, man, really need to learn their their, their place. I had another run in with a Miol the lioness. The thieves guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers, and you could end up in Riften jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. She's honestly a badass. Neil, talk to me. Here too. Visitors like us are rare in this part of Skyrim. So tell me about Riften's Thieves Guild. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rabble. What do you think? Uh, I agree. You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Eren, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. You just met Since me. we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild, and you should be cautious. Ooh. Tell me about the Blackbriar family. Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, represents everything that's wrong with this city. She's bribed countless officials, has friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with the Thieves' Guild. I've tried everything I can to protect Riften's citizens from her family, but to no avail. Uh, you're not gonna win this fight. Uh, who else is in the family? Well, there is Ingwen Blackbriar, Maven's daughter. Strange girl. 
She likes to spend time down in Elgrim's elixirs working on her alchemy. Then you have Hemming, Maven's son. Spoiled brat and heir to her empire. He follows her word like a loyal dog follows its master. And finally, Sibi. The worst of all of them. He's in Riften jail for murder. You're not from Riften? I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Valenwood, elsewhere to Morrowind, and all points in between. So then why are you here? Many years ago I lost my blade, Grim Sever, within a Dwemer ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune, but for me, that's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain, and my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. She's a she's she's got a good heart. Uh, your Riften's protector? It's been difficult. I've taken the burdens of this city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Corruption, lies, and deceit are the order of the day here. If it wasn't for Eren. The young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long ago. Ah, uh, so how did Aaron save you? It was Aaron who found me dying outside of a Dwemer ruin. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Riften, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. Well, that's cool. Well, thank you for all the Safe information. Travels. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Uh, just passing through. What's it to you? Yeah, well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I take it you're one of their guards? Who are the Black Briars? The Black Briars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy, but it'll cost you. Nah, yeah, I'm not really worried about it. Uh, dirt, huh? Not exactly clean myself. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Uh, any news involving the Dark Brotherhood? The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, snap. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Ooh, talk to Aventus Arantino. Anything, uh, know anything about the Thieves Guild? You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Uh, tell me more about the Blackbriars. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild, so basically no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. Uh, later. Be seeing you around. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans oh. quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. What the hell's going on, Shadir? Huh? Or Shatter, what whatever. Do you want? Uh, what kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. Tell me the details. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Uh, she ain't gonna kill you, dude, but I'll help you pay off your debt. You will? Oh, thank you. Uh, you work at the stables? Yes. Hoff Greer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. 
Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day, but I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. Okay, let's go talk to Sapphire. With Sapphire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me handle Sapphire. People of Riften, heed my words. Any luck with Sapphire? Yeah. Well, fuck out, What's your problem? I wanted to talk to you about Shadir's debt. I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. Uh, you and I both know this is a setup. All right, all right. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. I, hope we got I could take a hint. Again. There's no need you to make some coin. An some fun to harass our customers. Very well. <laughs> I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. You well, talk to me tomorrow. Just keep this. Uh, I wanted to know more about the Temple of Mara. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Wait, you mean to tell me I can have a wedding at the temple? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Uh, I might. Why don't you remind me? Actually, you know what? No, not really. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. I don't have 200 gold. Let me see if I can... Well, maybe. Let me I'm try. sorry, but even Mara's temple needs coin. We Damn it. have a symbol ready for you when you come Look, back with I already gold. said Shadra doesn't Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Yes, what do you want? What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Bran Shea's pocket without him noticing. Uh, why plant the ring on Bran Shea? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. Yes, ma'am. How am I supposed to do all of this? Do you want me to hold your hand as well? Yes. You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. Why are we doing this to Branche? We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. No. Since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Okay, sure, why not? I'll be at the market come morning. Let me see if I can sell... If you've got the coin, you're welcome. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. All right, hungry. come on, let me sell some shit. Damn it. So, now I'm up to 10 gold? <laughs> oh I my god. I need 190 gold. Get the hell out of my... Oh my god, Fangle. Um, who are you? Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Sure. What's, what sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Um... Sounds easy enough. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. Oh, uh, so wait. Hold up. Why is Sibby in jail? Exactly? No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No god would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. 
<laughs> That's fucking weird. All right, uh, why d uh, don't you tell CB yourself? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. Okay, well that sounds town. shady. Let's go, go talk to Deliver old my boy. To oh my god, stop following me. Get away from me, creeper. Let's go talk to old boy and give him the message of Sapphire that he doesn't owe her shit anymore thanks to my silver tongue. I am amazing, by the way. I need to level up, don't I? Let's talk to uh, Sh Shadir or Shatter or whatever his name is first and then we'll level up. Oh, what the fuck? No. Let's go ahead and wait. Let's go wait from here. Seven, eight. All right, this should be. Oh, there he is. Any luck with Sapphire? Yeah, you're no longer in debt with her. Five, eight. You actually talked her into it? No I don't big know deal. What to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Is it money? Nope. <laughs> All right, well, let's go back inside and, uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and level up, actually. Um, all right, let's go with health. Can never go wrong with health, in my opinion. Um, two-handed, one-handed archery. Do we have an archery? Eagle eye it is. Now let's go sell this crappy little potion. Such a useless gift, dude. You should have gave me money. That's what I really want in life. Money so I can decorate my house and get married. Um. Actually. Actually, we're definitely going to continue this in a later video. Because we're already close to the one hour mark, so... If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and definitely catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.